So I've spent the last uh, couple of weeks trying to sort of avoid uh, the topic of the US election because, you know, everything we were seeing was centralised about that and it was, you know, really overwhelming in the amount of sort of news and media we were seeing based on it. So I kind of tried to steer clear of it because we didn't really need much more of that. But there's one, just one specific thing I want to talk, talk about and discuss. Um, Biden was the lesser of two evils. He was the alternative to a terrible candidate, yet he himself isn't a great candidate. He's far from even a good candidate. His party isn't one that should be celebrated and should be worshipped, as I am seeing going on social media. Everyone is treating this like some major demo uh, victory of democracy. It really isn't. It just shows how shit the situation is in America that these two are the only viable candidates they had. We can't sit by and call this a success when we're still in the shitter and it's not going to get any better. He he has by his side some people who are considerably worse than those by Trump's side. The vice president, everyone's celebrating for being the first uh, black woman, first Asian, uh, black Asian woman in in the that position of vice president yet she's a da who put thousands in prison for years for menial crimes criminalized the poor and truant children who couldn't attend schools who willingly and purposefully tried to push two innocent men proven innocent men to death row whilst everyone around her was saying you can't do that that's a literal violation of the law we have evidence here that is beyond reasonable doubt these men are innocent, yet she still pushed for the the death penalty for them, and she put she has put thousands on in prison for serious terms for marijuana use while she's publicly joked and laughed about using marijuana herself. She is a terrible candidate for the vice presidency. Trump uh, Biden is a terrible candidate. Trump was also a terrible candidate, but Biden's almost no better. We can't sit here and celebrate this as and worship these candidates when really four years from now, when they've served out their term and eight years, if they get another, which I highly doubt the man's too old for a second term after this one. He's already too old for this one. Anyway, he's what, 76 or 70 something now when the median voting age is 38. So he is not a representative of anything. He's a rich, white, m upper class man when the majority of America hasn't got the representation. You know, the Breonna Taylors don't have a candidate standing for them. The George Floyds don't have a candidate standing for them. Um, Kamala Harris is, is nothing like the average American. She cheated her way to the top of the San Francisco attorney system. It's so coincidental that the man who promotes her to a high position who was 30 years her senior, she was having a affair with, basically, which I'm not saying it, that's a bit sus, but these are not good candidates, these are not representatives, these are still enforcers of the dictatorship towards the capital, we are still downtrodden and oppressed when we have these people as our leaders, they are not democratically legitimate, they are not us standing for us, they are themselves pretending they can help us out of saviour complexes when they will really do nothing at all that will benefit us. These next four years there will be those victories that seem like victories but really mean nothing in the mainstream. This isn't going to end injustice, this isn't going to end racism and xenophobia, this isn't going to end jack shit. This is just another man as bad as the last put in that place to uphold capital and capitalism and what the elite work for and what they want. He says he's against the 1%. Biden isn't going to change anything for the 1% of the 1%. He may do some apparent appearing benefits where he seems to tax certain parts of the rich, but he's not going to touch the untouchables, those with actual power. He may tax celebrities and influencers, but he won't tax the oligarchs. He won't touch, you know, those five families, the Bushes to the Rothschilds to the Rockefellers. He won't touch them because he is their own puppet. He is still in entire command to them. He's no better for us. What we need is not 
anything we can get through the democratic system we have now. We need a complete hard reboot and it is the only thing that will get us what we need. This is a settlement, it's not a success. We cannot worship these people and blindside ourselves and end up in an even worse position than we were two weeks ago. Nothing's changed, nothing's improved. We've only pushed one person down. We want to get authoritarian right out of the White House, out of leadership. We've got one figure out, we've still got another in. There's much more to go. Don't think this is the end and we can all start praising Biden for the fact that one, he's done nothing, two, he's got a team of terrible people by his side and three, he managed to get more votes than the just as bad candidate who is, but Trump is more obviously bad, but that's only because he comes out so affront with his negative. Biden will be just as bad in secret. He will push the same bills and the same damaging prospects through the legal system without bragging about it online. And that's why so many people think he's better when he is not at all.